Thomas Grandon TD for the first stage of Tour de Ski in Oberhof. It's day four. Today we had uh, really nice and exciting uh, handicap start competitions. What do you think about today's competitions? Yes, uh, this morning when we wake up, we have a very heavy snowfall here in Oberhof, and uh, we in the jury decided to, to bring in more men to the forerunners, and uh, we groomed, we groomed the course early this morning. And uh, then the forerunners stayed in the course almost during the whole day. And uh, I think that the circumstances, it was really good. The course was equal for everyone. And uh, we have very, very nice competitions for the ladies and the men. So what do you think was this a challenging day for the jury? Yes, especially this mass start during the ladies and the men, we started almost the whole start field within one minute and it was very short starting intervals. Some athletes started at the same second and then the next one in the next second and it was very much struggle to, to then check that every athlete started at the right time. And during the ladies' race, for example, we had two ladies who started a little too early, so they got a time penalty. And it's uh, common then that the time penalty is the wrong starting time divide, and then we make it ten times. So they started three seconds too early, and then it will be thirty seconds. So they got a time penalty of thirty seconds. So that that's uh, that's uh, quite a lot if you think about the whole tour de ski. Yeah, and it's uh, not uh, good getting this so early in the tour, but uh, now tomorrow they have the chance to get better positions for the next tour in Prague on Monday. So today, was there any big surprises in the result lists? Yes, I must say that uh, in the men's race, it was really fun to see that the sprint expert, in my opinion, from Sweden, Mr. Uh, Jönsson was really good at the distance race. It was fun also to see the struggle in the end with, between uh, Mr. Nottug and he was winning and he was really, really fighting for this win victory today. Okay, so we had a good exciting uh, handicap start with lots of breakouts from the leading group. What do you think uh, for tomorrow's sprint we will have a uh, Nice and tight competitions in, in, in good course. We have seen the weather forecast for tomorrow and uh, the weather forecast say that it will snow quite heavily sometimes during the morning. And uh, then we uh, have decided to, during the qualification, turn the starting order so the best will go on the last. But uh, then during the finals we are going as usual with uh, six tracks in the start and then four tracks around the course. And uh, we have a very good course, I think, for this sprint. It's 1.6 kilometers classic interval, classic sprint, and it will be very nice competitions for tomorrow. So we are looking forward to having nice and tight, uh, good sprint competitions tomorrow. And uh, what do you think will this Sprint competitions affect a lot to the results for the Tour de Ski in overall standings? I think that when we are tomorrow, have seen, we'll see the results from the competitions. We will see that maybe that uh, something has changed and uh, that uh, for, for the future in the Tour, it's still open who will win the total Tour in Valdivia. Okay, thanks Thomas and good luck for tomorrow. Thank you very much.